Hi and welcome back to the seventh part of how to paint a hair in pastel, a real time video. So what's happening here is I'm starting now on the ear using a grey Faber Castell pencil. And that is number 11212333. I've now gone in with a Carbothello 1400 and what I'm doing is just outlining the bits where um, it obviously is that colour. So as before in previous videos, if you want to go back, um, you can start at the first one and just watch them all and see how it all comes together. Or if you just want to skip to certain parts, you can do so. So here I'm going in with the black and just going over the lines there putting it in where the black would be. So what I'm doing there is looking at my photo reference just to see where all the black needs to go. The only rule really in painting fur and hair is to always go with the flow go where the hair flow goes or else it'll just look totally wrong so i'm just coloring this bit in here that whole area is black So I'm using a Carbofello black and the number for that is 1400750. So I'm still colouring it in. And on at this stage, I realized that it was going to take longer just to go over and over and over. So I used a, a block. I, I don't know who that's made by as it was actually just lying in my little pastel drawer. And if you can just forgive the state of my hands with the pastel. I was actually working on some of my bumblebee whimsies and you tend to get your hands completely full of pastel when doing that. I might do a video where I show all of my little whimsies, my bumblebees and my cows. So now I'm just going over into the corner where there is more black and instead of just using the pencil I'm going to just use that it's just easier not really going to be talking very much just when I go in with a different colour so hopefully you can hear the music in the background there it's short trip Roa um, from the audio, audio library on 
YouTube. So now I'm, what I'm doing here is just going in with the blender. It's a paper blender by Derwent. So I'm just going over all that, blending it all in, putting it into the tooth of the pastel mat. Just going over the top of the ear then with the pastel, with the blender. Now I'm going in with another Corbacello. It is the Corbacello 1400620. You just couldn't really see it. So what I'm doing is going over the black a little bit more. With this colour. Always checking my reference. Going over again the side of the black. Now trying to join the hair, well the fur of the back of the ear. Where it joins the front edge of the ear. in the black again just to make that a little bit stronger and just in case you didn't see that the black is number 1400760 and it's a Carbothello I've now gone in with my Carn Dash and it is 788732 it's like a creamy, a creamy colour. I just filling in the inside of the ear. Just using each stroke of the pencil. Again, looking at my reference for you to see where it goes. Now the rim of the ear, call it the rim, the edge. Had to go pretty hard here to block out the pencil mark. Now I'm using my blender and it is a my goodness, can't even see what it is. It is a colour shaper by Royal Sovereign. I don't know what 
edge it is. What size has it been rubbed off long ago? And I'm just blending everything in. Now back to the paper blender. I've now gone in with the Carbothello 1400680. I only used a few pencils on this on the air as there really isn't very many colours. And I'm just going over everything again. As always, going with the flow of the hair or the fur. Going back in again with the Carbofello 1400615. As always, paying close attention to where the flow of the fur is. So adding this colour to the back of the ear. I go in again with the Sovereign Blender just to blend all that together. Blending the colours together on the inner bit of the ear before I go over it with more colour. Going in again with the Corbathello 1400615 just to try and make that a little bit stronger. Now going in with a little teeny grey. Don't know what colour that is as the pencil's now too small. I shall just have to have a look. I just know that it's Corbathello. 
going in to try to put the dark in there to make the white stand out. Blending it all together. And basically that's what I do. You put marks on, you blend it in, you layer on top, blend it in, layer again. So now I'm going in with a Dela Rowney and it's a cool grey 053L going over the back of the ear just with the bits of grey. So in the next video which will be part 8 I will be concentrating on the second ear and hopefully have that done in the 35 minutes and then in the next video which I think will probably be the last one I'll concentrate on the side of the hair and then just go over everything all over again a bit more loosely just to make the hair a bit more fluffy so going over it again there with my Sovereign Blender. Going in again with that grey by De La Rowney. So if you like the videos, if you just want to hit the like button and subscribe, that would be great. If you know anybody else who's interested in this sort of thing, if you could possibly share it to them, it would be very much appreciated. Also, if there's anything that you want to know, if you can just leave a little comment in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer it. So I'm now going in with little Karen Dash again. The number of that again was 788732. So going over all the little sections again in the black on the underground, on the under, the underground, on the under side of the fur, just to give a little bit of depth.
just pulling a little bit of the black out into the side of the ear to try to bring it together. Adding more of that Carbothello 1400615 again, pulling it out onto the side. Going back in again with the little Carn Dash. Adding a bit of fur that's at the top of the hare's head. Trying to join the two sections together. layering up. Trying to define each bit of the ear because it's turned at a funny angle. So you've got the, the a little bit of the back, the side and the inside of the ear. Just work to a bit there, just to again try to bring together the top of the head with the bottom of the ear. Then going in with a smaller blender, which is zero of the sovereign Now back to doing the blending again. Just using quick rough strokes to try to flick. Finding the side of the ear. Going in now with the white, just at the side of the ear, just to make it stand out a little bit. Trying my best not to blend my, 
rest my arm or the side of my hand, sorry, at the <coughs> on the hair so that I don't smudge the eye or anything. Just building up the colour there again with the Corbathello. in again with the white doing rough strokes Just trying to make the hair go, or the fur, I keep saying hair. Well, it is basically hair, but the fur strands just to go a bit more any which way. And that's what I'll try to do right at the very end, just go over roughly with and pencil and every so often in certain places just be rough with the fur with wee strands and then lastly just add in the whiskers but as I say that will probably be on video 8 or maybe 9 it all depends how long it takes me to do the second ear. Working again there to do soap. I've nearly come to the end of the hair. Just adding a bit of the, just to match it all in bringing a few colours down from the ear into the top of the head. Just flicking a wee few hairs up so it looks as if they're in front of the ear. Going over again with the black. Pulling a few bits of the black in between the white fur. to give it a bit of depth again. Just checking the reference photo on the air, just to make sure that I've gone the right way.
Now I am using a Derwent Yellow Ochre P580. Just to go in with the lighter shades. And again, that is my Carbothello White. Just going over everything, highlighting it all. Giving away a few bits of highlights onto the back of the ear. reworking the side of the face Got a lot of pastel pencils, so they're just little nubs, but they still have lead in them, so they can still be used. So I got to this bit, and I was just getting to the feeling that I was maybe overworking it a little bit. And it's hard trying to get myself to stop. It's going in and I think this was round about the last bit of that I did going on with the black. Making it stand out a little. Flicking a few bits of hair, trying to join it all together. Giving a little bit of depth. Could have stopped a while ago, you know, maybe four or five pencils ago, but kept going. I 
but that's the trouble you know you, you can very easily ruin a painting by just overworking it and then you're gonna have to go in again trying to make things darker and things so you're better off when you know you're saying to yourself I think I'm overworking it here that's when you need to stop so I'm just going in blending all this together but I really didn't really need to do you know to actually go this far It was actually fine a couple of minutes ago. And now because I went in with the lighter, with the darker colours and I need to go over again with the white. Is the finished section of the ear so on the next video I will be working on the other ear and then hopefully I'll have that done and by that time in the last video I'll be able to work on the side and then go over everything a bit more loosely with a few colours just to give it a little bit more depth and then add the whiskers. So if you enjoyed watching this video, if you could please like it and subscribe and possibly share and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.